Hi everyone, okay, part two of the white poppy. And I'm mixing up a little bit of a phthalo blue, or you can mix up um, Windsor blue red shade. And if you don't have any of those, you can add a little bit of a permanent rose to, um, or no, I'm sorry, permanent, you know, I'm just, what I'm trying to do is find a little bit of a, a blue that's not too intense. So as you can see here, I laid down some of my blues right over the um, the folds that I have on my poppy. And you can just go ahead, take your one stroke brush and lay it all on there. Don't give it too many brush strokes. You don't want to overwork it, of course. And come on over here. I'm adding a little bit more blue here because this is all in shadow. So what do we do about this portion in shadow? You can go ahead and paint the glaze right over everything okay so this is all in shadow there you go now once that is taken care of I'm going to finish this all off right there and um, I left that open ready to go or I left the white of the paper there okay and um, I'm going to now take a little Add a little bit more water to my glaze and just drop a little bit, you know, just a little bit of paint right there. You don't want it to go too dark. And that portion of this flower is lighter. Okay, so right here it's dripping because I'm on an easel and I have it straight up and down for you to be able to see. Now, this one up here is handled the same except it's in sunshine, so you're going to leave the white of the paper. And just drop your blues in and it's, it's you know it's not rocket science it's it is what it is you just put a little bit of movement right here and then um, this portion of the center is of course it's yellow and you just go ahead and you're gonna take some quick movements and there's not a whole lot of detail over here because it's uh, further back and it's in shadow you can see I already started some of that area here a little bit more yellow because it is out in the sunshine please do so okay so that's the last part of the white poppy um, right now we are going to uh, jump into the background okay mm, and how yeah okay so let's see the background right here I'm gonna take um, my the blue and the yellow that I have mixed um, earlier on. I'm just going to take it from my palette, mix the two, and I'm going to lay in a little bit of the background <clears throat> to indicate, you know, what is where. Because again, this is out of focus, so I'm not giving it too much attention, but I am giving it some movement here, and this will be um, the the beginnings of the background. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, here it is, a little bit more, and then I'm going to let this dry, and um, and then I'll come back to it, because eventually we are going to get to our sky, and it's going to blend into this background, so I'm not going to complete this portion of it all the way. I'll do that, um, I'll do a little bit more up in here when I'm ready to get my darks going, and um, and I'm just laying some shapes in, some shapes that I'm seeing right in here, indicating um, where my darks are going to go. It's all the negative shapes. These are where my darks are going to go. And um, yeah, so I'm going to come down here, and th this is really dark right in here. That's this area that's going to be dark right there. Okay, and now. Some of our line drawings, uh, or the line drawing did indicate some of these stems. That's what I want to say. Some of these stems. Um, so, <coughs> I'm go ahead and paint those stems in. And I'm, that's, I want you to do the same. Follow along. Paint in the stems. And um, then I'm going to have... Uh, the next portion of this I will post, but I probably won't get to it till tomorrow because it's getting late here and um, actually been spending a little bit more time 
on all of this than I had anticipated today. So um, I'm giving you everything I got here. So there you go. So do you see that the nice little crisscross business that's happening right in here? Is that clear enough or is that, can you see that on the camera? So, okay, I'm gonna make sure you're gonna be able to see that. Let's get you real close and right here. So that's really pretty light. So I don't, I'm hoping the camera will pick that up. So it's here, here, and here. And don't go too dark too soon because this is a nice way of beginning your um, background. Okay, so finish finish this uh, this portion, this lower portion that you have. You're gonna finish this portion of the background, these two flowers, and then I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Show you some darks and then and then the uh, the sky. Okay, so I hope. Uh, you're all able to download this. I hope you're able to open the YouTube uh, codes that I'm giving you and um, be able to move on. I don't know what else, I, how much more information I could feed you guys. Um, you know, just, just have some patience with this online uh, classes because I'm, you know, I'm feeding, I'm trying as best I can to get everything to you. I know there was a lot of um, there's some complaints about it, about the technical part, but but other than that, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm trying the best I can get um, get all this to you and um, hang in there, okay? So if you have any more questions, go ahead and post it on the Blackboard um, Message Center or ask the instructor, whatever you want to do there. And um, yeah, so I'll get back to you tomorrow. Bye.